Good morning, everybody. How are you today? This is the second Kamishibai story time. Do you remember last time? Okay, that was one inch boy, Isumboshi story, right? It wasn't that, right? Um, in order to start, do you remember also? This is the way, right? Okay, all right. Are you ready? Okay. We are going to start story time. Kamishibai story time. Remember? Let's open it. All right. Like this. I wonder what kind of story. Here it is. All right. This is Kamishibai, but today's story is American story. All right. Okay, let's start. I'm going to show it to you that the box is pretty neat. Yep. Okay, same. Okay. The title is The Mother Cat. Right? The same title, it is written in Japanese here. Neko no Okaasan. Neko is cat. Opasan is mother. Okay. Meow, meow, meow. Said the little kittens, who were still learning how to walk. There were five of them. They made their home in an old abandoned building. Their mother was very happy with her little ones, all safely at her side. Hello, little kittens. It's your friend Katie. And me, your friend Bob. Can you see a little boy and girl here? Katie and Bob. Okay, good. Two children who lived in the neighborhood came into the building through an opening in the brick wall. Katie said, see mother cat, we brought something good for you to eat. Katie and her brother Bob came every day to play with the kittens. The next one here. One night, the mother cat woke up suddenly. What's that I smell? Oh no, something is burning. She heard flames crackling deep inside the building. Suddenly, the mother cat heard the voices of people shouting outside, Fire! Fire! There's no time to lose. I must move my kittens to a safe place. Black smoke made its way closer and closer to them. Mother cat said, I want all five of you to listen to me carefully. Don't worry, I'll get all of you safely out of the building, but you must stay together no matter how frightened you are. Remember, don't move from this spot. Kittens said, they said yes, mommy, we'll do just as you say. The kittens drew very close to each other, trembling in fear. The mother cat picked up one of the kittens and made her way through the smoke. She ran out of the building through the opening in the brick wall. Someone in the crowd said, look, a cat. She's carrying a kitten in her mouth. Many people were standing outside of the building watching the fire. The mother cat went up to Katie and lift the kitten with her. Katie smiled and nodded gently. I will watch it for you. Don't worry. The mother cat went right back 
into the building. She carried two more kittens to safety in the same way. Soon the fire had special uh, spread all over the building and flames were leaping out of the windows. People said, don't go back in, mother cat, it's too dangerous. But the mother cat ignored all the cries of the people and ran back into the burning building. Please, fireman, help the mother cat. We could never get through that tiny opening in the brick wall and the fire is burning out of control. <gasps> mother cat said, meow, where are you, my kittens? Meow, 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 meow. The mother cat listened to where the cry was coming from and found another kitten. Then she picked it up and made her way out of the building. She held her head up as she ran on the alert long for danger. <gasps> you made it safely. I was so relieved. Just as a mother cat gave the fourth kitten to Katie and Bob, rumble, rumble, crack, crash. They heard something in the burning building crumble and fall. The mother cat leaped right back into the blazing flame. Oh no, there's one more kitten left inside. All the crowd awaited, waited anxiously to see what would happen. And crackle, crackle. The mother cat could not see well as the smoke and flames billowed around her. It's mother, I've come to save you. Where are you, my son? Meow, meow, mommy, I'm here. I'm so scared. Help me, please. She could hear a tiny voice from the back of the building. She searched frantically. Her paws were scorched black by the flame. Finally, she found the kitten in a little space in the back, trembling and crying. The whole building was engulfed in flames. The people waited outside, praying in their hearts for the mother cat to return. What happened to her? It's taking her too long. She's probably trapped inside. There's no hope now, poor thing. Just as the crowd outside had began to give up hope. <gasps> Look everybody! The mother cat walked out of the building, nearly blinded by the heat. She tried to keep her eyes open. Her fur was scorched. She was trembling. But she held the last of her children, the white kitten, and securely in her mouth. They are safe. How wonderful. Everyone began to clap. Meow, meow, mommy. We are so scared. The mother cat licked each of the five kittens as they snuggled up to her. They are dirty from the smoke, but no one was burned. Then the mother cat slowly lie down on the blanket Katie had spread out for her and happily nursed the kittens. She forgot about the pain from her burns. She was very, very happy. All her kittens were safe. And this is a true story about an event that took place in New York City in March 1996. So that's 24 years ago, actually, it happened. Very nice that they are all safe. Did you like the story? Yeah. We are so glad that they are all safe, right? Good. Okay. Good. This is, this is today's story. Okay. Mother's cat. All right. So until next time, I'm going to close it. All right. And then we are going, going on next project. All right. Do you remember? I promised you <clears throat> that we are going to write something. Do you remember? What was it? 
we are going to write kamishibai, right? Do you have a paper? And do you have a um, maca or crayon? Okay, so let's try it. Okay, I have a marker. Like, oops, yeah, all different colors. Okay, the big one, very big one. So we are going to copy like this. Okay. So we are going to start going this way. One, two, three, four, five. Kami shibai. Okay, it means kami means what? Paper. Okay. And shibai means like a play or theater. Okay. Good. Let's see. <clears throat> so this is my paper. Okay. I'm going to show it to you like this, this way, okay, it's easier. Okay. I am going to do very slowly so you can follow, okay? Good. Parents, you can do two together, okay? All right. I'm going to go very slowly, okay? First one, ka, ka, ka. Okay. So, um, okay, one. Two, three, four, five. So I'm going to write it here. Okay. Are you ready? All right. Ka. Going like this. Easy? Kind of strange shape, isn't it? Okay. And then going from the top, going to go like this. Slide. Yeah. Like this. Alright? Now one more. Going little tiny one, tiny line like this. And then you wrote one letter, that's ka. Okay. Next one is me. Okay, me. Remember the second one? Alright. Me is <clears throat> like this. Look. Okay. Going with this tiny one here, going long one, and then like, like this, look at this, isn't that funny? And then going like this, isn't that funny? Yes, that's letter, actual letter. That's me, going, going like this, hmm, little circle, like a circle, going like this, and one line, that's kami. Okay, paper. Okay. Okay. Next one, third one. It's really easy, very easy. It goes just one line like this. That's she, 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 she. That's easy, like this. Ah, like this. Okay. Use of Japanese, very Japanese language is very difficult, you know. Mm -mm. Don't worry about it. Next one here. This is someone in the two dots here. Okay. Let's start from this line. Okay. okay. So this is like this. Like this. Next one is one line here like this. Like this. Again, here a little like a circle, like this. Okay, and then two lines. It's ba, shi ba. Last one is super easy. Only two lines. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, one. How about that? And you are done. You wrote kamishibai in Japanese. Kamishibai. Okay. You can show it to your other family members or your friends. Okay. Very good. Good. Good for you. We can try different things again. Okay. Good. All right. Very good. It's a it's challenge. You no. Know? 
when we do something different, you know, it's fun, it's challenge. Um, I just love it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a very um, simple craft that you can do. Again, whatever uh, material you have, that's fine. See, I told you last time, last week, I like to make something to hand, right? Okay. So, what you can do is you can make like this. It's almost like a pear shape, right? Um, kind of thin paper. Okay. You can make six or, or eight, something like that. Okay. So, um, I made three just to show you how. This is very thin paper, so you can cut it all together. Okay. If it's difficult, um, you can ask uh, your parent to cut it. Okay. Very good. Um, what you can do is, uh, let's see, you can make shape with pencil, something. Okay. You can cut it. Right. Okay? So you are supposed to have six to eight. Okay. After that, um, you fold it into half like this. Now what you can do is, each side, like that, you glue it, glue it. You're going to put together like this, together like this. See different colors, different colors, okay. Now again, just one like this, glue it. And keep gluing, keep gluing, gluing. Remember like this, okay. And before the last one, you don't finish up all gluing. No, before the very last one, what you can do is just make sure you can put glue here, glue here, glue here. You can put glue all over, <laughs> especially this center area. The reason is you are going to put this string this string in the center okay you want string to stay there right and also made make sure that you put extra one sticking out so you can make the hanging stuff thing here like this okay right then also here the length you want if you want longer one that's okay you can make it longer all right and I just happen to have I like the circles, that's all circles. So I just glue it two together, two together like this. Okay. It can be any shape. Right? When I do craft, I keep little pieces. So then I can use them for some other craft. So that's what I do. Okay. I might have something here. Yes, I have. A different one here too. I think I made it. Let me see. This is a short one. It's a very short one. Okay. Yeah, the very short one. Whichever you prefer. Okay. Again, if you find a stick, remember last one. <laughs> then you can put three together, and then you can make hanging thing, just like a last last week craft. Remember like this bird. Right? That's this week's craft. Okay. Did you try it? That, that's great. All right. So, um, again, we'll see you um, not next week. Next week, um, there will be first chapter reading. So, it will be in uh, October. Okay, October already. <laughs> My goodness. Um, if you look at the, our website, library's website, you can find, I am sure you can find my um, Kamichi by Storytime flyer, and it is written the date, date of the uh, story time, uh, Kamichi by Storytime. So please uh, check it. Okay? So uh, we'll see you next time. Okay? Till then, be safe. And be good.
All right. Bye bye. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Bye bye.